हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स नमस्ते वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इंडस्ट्रियल फ्लूड पावर सो दिस चैनल कंटेंट्स वीडियो लेक्चर्स मेड बाय मी ऑन दिस हाइड्रोलिक्स एंड निमेटिक्स सब्जेक्ट माय नेम इज सी के पुराणिक प्रोफेसर इन सेनगढ़ कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग पुणे आई एम ऑथर टू टेक नी योर पब्लिकेशन आई हैव रिटर्न सेवरल बुक्स ऑन दिस सब्जेक्ट टिल नाउ आई हैव कंप्लीटेड नियरली फिफ्टी वीडियोस एंड टू कंप्लीट दिस सब्जेक्ट फिफ्टी मोर वीडियोस आर रिक्वायर्ड टू डू द वीडियोस आई नीड मोटिवेशन प्लीज गिव सम लाइक्स कॉमेंट्स विथ गुड वर्ड्स एंड शेयर द वीडियोज अमंग युअर फ्रेंड सर्कल एंड सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल सो दैट यू विल गेट नोटिफिकेशन वेन आई एड any new video thank you we shall proceed to the today's topic good morning friends today's topic is air dryers what is air dryer symbol and why we need it air dryer is a device which is used to dry the compressed air in pneumatic system we know we use compressed air in pneumatic systems isn't it that air is compressed by the compressor the compressor draws the air from atmosphere compresses it and delivers to the pneumatic system air draw air is drawn by the compressor okay, from atmosphere and that atmospheric air contains moisture in it and when compressor draws that moist atmospheric air along with air moisture is also taken into the compressor and hence the compressed air contains moisture we say rh of compressed air what what is rh rh is relative humidity rh of compressed air is 100% rh of compressed air is 100% because the air is compressed and that's why the compressed air contains more amount of moisture moisture will also get compressed that's why it is having more amount of that is 100% we consider relative humidity is 100% and compressed air is having more amount of moisture and what is the problem with moisture in compressed air the problem is if the temperature of compressed air falls below the pressure dew point the moisture condenses into liquid form we get liquid water that moisture will condense and form liquid water the pressure dew point is nearly 5 degree centigrade at 10 bar pressure if the pressure is 7 bar then the pressure dew point is 2 degree centigrade that means compressed air of 10 bar is cooled to 5 degree centigrade then moisture will condense into liquid water or if the compressed air of 7 bar pressure is cooled to 2 degree centigrade again moisture will condense into liquid water the reason why the temperature falls below the dew point the reason is maybe the surrounding temperature itself is less during winter you know temperature is very less and further there will be pressure loss in pipes this will also cause drop in temperature and one more important cause is free expansion of air in case of uh, air refrigeration systems okay i have understood free expansion of air will cause fall in temperature the chilling effect chilling effect we call it so due to free expansion of air the temperature will fall free expansion of air will takes place in receiver tank when compressed air is given to receiver tank suddenly large volume is available air expands in the receiver tank and this we call it as free expansion the temperature will reduce and also free expansion takes place in pipes valves and cylinders actuators actuators means linear actuators are cylinders rotary actuators are motors so that condensed liquid water creates lot of troubles in pneumatic system what are those troubles we can see one by one here very first one is water creates disturbance to flow of air 
air cannot flow easily if water droplets, water bubbles, etc. are there in the pipe, air cannot flow easily. And that water will cause corrosion of metal surfaces, walls, cylinders and uh, such metal surfaces may get corroded, rust may form. And uh, one more very important uh, problem with moisture when condensed liquid form is water combines with lubricant oil. We use lubricant oil to lubricate the internal parts of walls and cylinders. We add lubricant oil in the form of mist or fog to the flowing compressed air using a device called lubricator. That lubricant oil flows along with the compressed air to walls and cylinders and perform lubrication inside, isn't it? So that lubricant oil will mix with the liquid water and a chemical reaction will take place, maybe polymerization or anything, due to which there will be formation of gel or varnish which is very sticky. We can't remove it easily and that gel or varnish, it will block the ports, it will block the ports of walls. So air cannot flow at all. That is one more drawback of moisture. And uh, the, if the temperature is very, very less, so less than, okay, or else it, if it reaches to zero degree centigrade, then naturally water will solidify and ice is formed, solid ice is. So again, water, the compressed air cannot flow in the pipelines. So in order to avoid these difficulties, Moisture should be removed from compressed air. Okay, moisture should be removed from the compressed air and then it should be stored in the receiver tank. And from the receiver tank, okay, the compressed air is taken to the pneumatic system. So, to remove the moisture from compressed air, we use moisture separators and air dryers. Uh, there are several types of air dryers, uh, mainly there are uh, three important types. One is refrigerated air dryer, second is deliquescent air dryer, the third is desiccant air dryer. Refrigerated air dryer. Refrigerated air dryer uses a refrigeration system to cool the compressed air which is flowing here, to cool the compressed air we use refrigeration system. When the compressed air is cooled below dew point, that is pressure dew point, moisture condenses to form liquid water. You see this is compressor. Compressor is compressing the air, okay? And that air is flowing through the air dryer. In this refrigerated air dryer, some cooling system is there to cool the air, okay? Coolant is past year, okay, refrigerant is past year, air is cooled. And when that air is cooled, moisture condenses to form liquid water and the condensed water flows down due to gravity and collects at the bottom of a tank. And this collected water is drained out regularly by using automatic drive valve. The system components are explained here. Refrigerated air dryer is having two circuits. One is compressed air circuit, one is refrigerated circuit. So this is compressed air circuit where compressed air is flowing like this. It is flowing through the pre-cooler and then it flows through the chiller and the chilled compressed air flows through the water separator where water which is collected at the bottom can be drained out by using a drain valve. Dry compressed air which is chilled that flows through reheater and it is taken out. So this circuit is compressed air circuit and the second circuit it is having is refrigerant or refrigeration circuit where compressor is there. This is 
compressing the refrigerant refrigerant compressor and that high pressure vapor flows through condenser and then through expansion valve and then through this evaporator so this is refrigeration system so these are the parts again i will say the different parts of this system pre cooler which is cooling the hot wet compressed air coming from the air compressor and then pre cooled compressed air flows through the chiller where the temperature of compressed air is reduced below pressure dew point and then chilled compressed air flows through this water separator moisture condenses to form liquid water and gets collected at the bottom which can be drained out regularly by using automatic drain system and dry chilled compressed air flows out here from the water separator it flows through reheater so that it is heated to normal temperature and dry compressed air is taken out the refrigeration system is having refrigerant compressor which is compressing the low pressure vapor to high pressure vapor and that high pressure vapor flows through the condenser so that the high pressure vapor condenses to form high pressure liquid and that high pressure liquid flows through the expansion valve or capillary tube where the pressure is reduced we get low pressure liquid and this low pressure li liquid flows through the evaporator where phase change will be there from liquid to vapor during this phase change the refrigerant absorbs the heat from the compressed air which is flowing through the chiller so this is refrigerant circuit the processes involved in compressed air circuit that is the first circuit here 1 to 2 okay 1 to 2 it is pre cooling pre cooling of the hot wet compressed air coming from the compressor this hot wet compressed air is pre cooled and then 2 to 3 this is chilling process chilling of the pre cooled wet compressed air below the pressure dew point and 3 to 4 this is water separator condensation of moisture in water separator moisture is condensed liquid water is removed and then 4 to 5 4 to 5 is reheating reheating of the chilled dry compressed air okay here we are getting dry compressed air okay processes in refrigerant circuit are 6 to 7 6 to 7 compression of low pressure vapor to high pressure vapor this is refrigerant circuit refrigerant compressor it is low pressure refrigerant vapor is compressed to high pressure vapor 7 to 8 okay 7 to 8 is condensation of high pressure vapor to high pressure liquid condensation of high pressure vapor to high pressure liquid and 8 to 9 is expansion expansion of high pressure liquid to low pressure liquid pre expansion of high pressure liquid to low pressure liquid and 9 to 6 this is evaporation of low pressure liquid to low pressure vapor during this evaporation there is change of phase from liquid to vapor so this change of phase it requires heat so that heat is drawn from the compressed air in the chiller so that's why the compressed air gets chilled to dew point pressure dew point okay this all about refrigerant type air dryer or refrigerated air dryer now chemical air dryers there are two types of chemical air dryers one is deliquescent air dryer we call it as absorption air dryer and the other is desiccant air dryer we call it as adsorption air dryer see the two difference one is deliquescent air dryer absorption air dryer and the other is desiccant air dryer that is adsorption air dryer we shall understand first one that is deliquescent air dryer absorption air dryer so this air dryer uses a deliquescent material 
See, this is deliquescent material. The compressed air passes through the deliquescent material and this deliquescent material absorbs the moisture in the compressed air and dry air comes out. Deliquescent material uh, is uh, a type of salt. Okay, it may be uh, so many different substances are there. Sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, likewise. So that salt absorbs the moisture in the compressed air and the salt gets dissolved to form salt solution, liquid solution. And the liquid solution due to gravity, it will flow down and collects at the bottom of the tank and there is a drain valve, automatic drain valve which will open periodically and drain the collected liquid solution. This deliquescent air dryer is called absorption air dryer because the deliquescent material which we use here, okay, so that will get absorbed, that is that will get consumed, will get consumed during water removal process, that is during drying of the compressed air, this salt get dissolved. So that's why we have to add the deliquescent material, that is the salt, okay, at regular interval of time. Yes, it must be replenished or replaced periodically. This bed of deliquescent material is to be replaced periodically. Otherwise, it will get consumed and further there will not be material and uh, drying of the compressed air may not be possible. So, this is very simple to understand. And the next uh, second one is desiccant air dryer. Desiccant air dryer. Here, the desiccant material will not dissolve in moisture. Okay. Desiccants are usually made of silica gel, molecular sieve, activated alumina, activated charcoal, etc. The desiccant does not dissolve with moisture and hence there is no need to replenish or replace the desiccant material. But as I said, the desiccant material should be heated to remove the water content, moisture content after saturation should be heated and dried we call that process as regeneration should be heated and dried periodically desiccant air dryer consists of two towers this is tower a and this is tower b okay two towers having desiccant materials which are used alternatively when tower a is drying the compressed air that is when tower A is absorbing the moisture from the compressed air, tower B is heated and dried. Once the tower A gets saturated with moisture, by that time tower B is ready for its turn and the walls, two walls are turned through 90 degrees like this. They are turned through 90 degrees so that the compressed air will be diverted to tower B and the heater of tower A is switched on, heater of tower B is switched off. Look here, I will explain again. So this is figure A, here tower A, tower B. This is tower A, and this is tower B. Now in this position, compressed air is flowing through tower A and tower B is heated, heater is on here. Okay. And once the desiccant material of tower A gets saturated with water, the two walls are turned through 90 degrees like this. Now compressed air will start flowing through tower B and compressed air is dried here. The moisture content in that compressed air is absorbed by the desiccant material of tower B. And during that time, tower A which was saturated with moisture content is heated and the moisture in tower A will be evaporated and the water vapor which is coming out here is exhausted to atmosphere through vent. So this is how the two towers are operated alternatively.